a little verbal jab from, uh, from Anthony Joshua over the last couple of days. He said that he'd been in touch with the, the Vladimir Klitschko camp to get a, an inside track um, on how you perform. Kevin spoke about it yesterday, but in a way, has Vladimir Klitschko shown you the way to defeat Anthony Joshua? I mean, that's the fight that you have on on a constant loop in your gym. Yeah, what, what that fight, we, you know, we have it playing in the gym every day when we're training. And we know that that's, um, you know, Joshua trained very hard for the fight, so, as, so did Vlad. And we can see, you know, with the movement and with the, you know, there's a lot of things that we saw in that fight we know that we can actually do better. And we know that we can catch AJ when, when we actually put on the split. What did you make of, of Joshua and the Joshua camp contacting the Klitschko? Was that, what do you think about it? Uh, they can do whatever they want, it's not going to change a thing. Um, you know, he's probably trying to get advice from, you know, someone like Klitschko. We've been in this camp sparring, but you know, they can do whatever they want to prepare for this fight. And if they have to reach out to people, they can reach out to people. But we'll focus and we know what we want to do. One last one from me. Anthony Joshua did not speak to the, the New Zealand media or, or the Samoan media at his gathering a couple of days ago. Did you take that personally? And what do you think of that? Uh, you know, it's his decision. I think it's a little disrespectful because they've traveled a long way to come and see him. And they respect him, you know, they respect him as a fighter and what he's achieved, but I think he's a little disrespectful. Um, you know, when we were in camp in Vegas, you know, we had a lot of British media come over and we, you know, we're very friendly and we're just being ourselves and invited them to our home and you know, kind of made them some nice food, which I was very sad to see because I was eating other food. But, uh, you know, it's, I don't think it's, uh, I think, you know, he should just be a bit more respectful and, and, um, and talking to everyone that was there. And maybe, hopefully, in the future, he can uh, make it better. Just talking about before you're saying you're lean, that you're starting to get a hint of abs. Um, what do you say to anyone that calls you the pie now? You know, I, I love pies on my off season. <laughs> this camp, Kev, <laughs> tell them there's been no pies whatsoever. There's been no pies. <laughs> you shouldn't ask me. You should ask the cook. Yeah. <laughs> but I do enjoy a pie after the fight, so I look forward to that after. But not too many this time.